We woke up this morning to snow flurries. This winter just will not end. No, snow flurries in the desert. <laughs> in the middle of April in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Right. So we took this opportunity to stay inside and work on a project. Uh, today we're going to be installing two of these 12 volt DC receptacles. The reason for this is when we are not hooked up to shore power, when we're running off of our batteries, our receptacles in the trailer don't work because we right. don't have an inverter. Right. So to explain why that is, the power that comes out of a battery is 12 volt. The power that comes out of like shore power... Like out of your house receptacles, like you plug your vacuum in. Right. Is 110 volt. The inverter's job is to take the 12 volt and change it into 110 or 120 so that your outlets work. But our trailer didn't come with an inverter and we have looked into purchasing and installing one, but they're really expensive. The, I, I, the little bit we charge or plug in, it doesn't seem that necessary to us either. We've, well, we've been getting by just fine without it so far. Here's the deal. If it were cheaper, I'd be all over Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But it's like $1,600 to $2,500, I think, to get a good one. Um, and it's not it's not worth $1,600 to $2,500. So to us. To us, exactly. I mean, in a different circumstance, if money were no object, then absolutely I would be all over it. But that's not the case. So how we've been getting by is we have a little 400 watt portable inverter that we can use in the van or in the trailer or wherever we need it. And we, that we can use it in the trailer. The problem is that there's only one spot in the there's entire only trailer. One one 12 volt receptacle in the entire trailer which is all the way in the very front of the trailer um right above the couch in that overhead storage it's a pretty inconvenient location honestly um so what we're doing is tapping into that 12 volt power from the battery um, with these receptacles um that we purchased on amazon uh, we've got two uh, outlets here. One of them is like a cigarette lighter style um, adapter and the other is two USB plugs. Right. So the thinking is that at night when we're sleeping we can charge our phone cords or if we're somewhere that it's really hot and I can't get to sleep um, yeah, we have a fan uh, that... A DC fan we can plug in there. Right, exactly, into the cigarette adapter. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get these two guys installed. So where we've chosen to install these, hey bud, <laughs> is um, in these little cubbies uh, that we each have on the side of our bed. Um, normally we've got like books and lotions and whatnot in here. Um, and this is accessed from our closet on the other side here, which TJ's taken the door off of. So the plan is to cut a hole through this panel right here. And we're, we're, we've decided, I think, to do it on this back side um, because it is going to be the least noticeable. Uh, you know, this is not the prettiest thing in the world. So having it facing that direction, the only way you can see this is if you're laying in bed. Um, so that's the plan. We, I think we also are going to mount it up higher um, versus down lower just because normally there's a bunch of stuff in this cubby and um, it would be hard to plug things into it with all that stuff in the way. So having it up higher, hopefully the stuff is out of the way and we can get things plugged in easily. So that's the plan. Um, let's get started. So let me clarify by saying when I say we are installing, I actually mean TJ is installing and I'm asking him a bunch of questions. <laughs> so what are you doing TJ? <laughs> I'm measuring the the receptacles come with a template so I'm measuring to find center so I can center this up in the cubby gotcha all right so you 
put the template up. Yep. You centered it and taped it up into the box where you want to install the receptacle. And now what are you doing? I'm putting a screw in so it will poke out the back side. So I centered this template in the cubby and I ran a, I don't have a right angle drill, so I can't drill from inside the cubby, plus it'd be a pain in the butt. So what I did was I just ran three screws through the template so they come out on this back side inside the closet. So then I can see where I need to put my uh, spade bit, my spade bit, <laughs> and drill from this side. All right, so this is what it looks like from inside the cubby. One, two, three. Which you can see right there, the three screws coming through. So now you're going to take... Now I'm going to take my spade bit and drill through into the cubby from this side because I can easily access it from inside the closet. So now I'm going to take my saw hand saw and finish off the holes. Mm Can we just talk about how painful it is to cut into our ice cream? <laughs> it does hurt. <laughs> It's not pretty. No. But once you put that thing in, uh. you never know. It's Nick. That looks perfect. Okay. All right. This is what it looks like. The panel has four screws that we'll hold it to the surface. So I'm putting those four screws in. is installed and screwed in.
So fresh and so clean. Next we're going to wire it up. Madly's going to help. <laughs> for some reason, and I don't understand this at all, but for some reason on the one side of the bed, Airstream has pre-wired it for 12 volts. There's, there's just loose wire sitting in the cabinet. They were tucked in behind the little cubby, uh, which makes it very simple. On the other side of the bed, they decided that you didn't need 12 volts over here if you wanted to do something like this. But I was lucky enough to find the wires that go up to the lights and I'm going to tap into those on the other side of the bed and use that for my source of power. And you can see those back here. I've already tested them, made sure they were 12 volt, not 120. So we're good to go there. Um, I did take this panel down. I took the rod out, took the ceiling panel down so I could see if I had access to any wires back there. There wasn't any except for those, so. Why they thought it, it would be helpful to wire one side and not the other, I don't understand, but it is what it is and we'll make do. Can I give you another perspective on that? What's that? Airstream was nice enough to run 12 volt on one side for you because if they hadn't done that, it wouldn't be there at all. It would have been really nice if they had done it on both sides. <laughs> But anyway, I found the wires that go up to the lights, and I'm just going to tie into those on this side. It's not really that difficult or that big a deal. And maybe that's why they did it, because these are accessible. Well, sort of accessible. I had to pull down the ceiling of the closet to get to them. But... So I'm about to wire up that outlet. I've got uh, white, which I'm going to use for my negative, and blue, which I'm going to use for my positive, which is what Airstream used from the factory on the other side. So I'm just matching that. So I'm crimping on a female connector. I like to use the insulated ones. One for the positive, one for the negative. So I found these wires tucked up in the ceiling. I pulled the ceiling panel out. There was uh, I think four screws holding it in. And these were tucked back in the back there. I've tested them with my multimeter to make sure that they are in fact 12 volts. So don't just go hooking wires together, make sure that they are the right voltage. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hook up to the existing wires. For me, I'm using blue for positive, white for negative. The wires coming from the trailer, they have black for positive, white for negative. These are the ones that were pre-existing already in the trailer. This is what he's done. He's tied into the existing wiring that went to the 12 volt lights. And we new wires that go to the receptacle that we just he just installed. I should be able to test that it's working. And yep, the light is on. The factory used wire nuts to make the joints for their wiring. Uh, I, I'm also using the wire nuts, but I'm gonna tape them on also because I Feel it makes a more secure joint, keeps the wires in case they get pulled from coming apart. Especially because they're in that closet. Exactly, they're in a the closet, you can't see them. So. Just extra precaution. Well, and I feel like in the closet they would get... Jostled around maybe. Right. So, clean things up. So I've got some tie wraps with a hole in them for a screw. And I'm just going to tie the wires up and screw it to the back side of the cubby. Try to keep them neat, try to keep the hangers from getting hooked on and things like that. All right, all cleaned up. So we're going to buy a box to cover all of those wires. 
and to keep them protected and safe. But they now run down the side with these little screw and tie wraps to keep it nice and neat and tidy. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ceiling panel back in. And then after that, the uh, closet rod. Guys and girls, if you don't have one of these, <laughs> uh, it's a cordless ratchet made by Milwaukee. I love this thing. I, I kind of bought it on a whim at one point and I use it for everything. I mean, it makes a perfect right angle drill. I just bought a socket that has a Phillips bit on it, 3A socket. Uh, they make it in quarter inch and in three eighths drive, but I did have the three eighths drive and I just use the heck out of it. It's, just, it's a really handy tool. The thing I love that Airstream did, and they've done this on all their cabinetry, is they made all their hinges or they used quick release hinges. So when you want to get the door off, you just pull this lever and the hinge just pops right off and then you just snap it right back on when you're, when you're done. But it makes it very easy to get the door out of the way and give you more room to work. So what's going on there, bud? Yeah. There we go. All right, let's see the finished product. Here. All right, we've got it all done. Um, another big benefit of this upgrade, or what would you call it? An upgrade, but... I call it an upgrade. Okay. Makes our life easier. It's an upgrade. Okay. So another benefit of this upgrade is that the existing 110 outlets were in a kind of inconvenient location over here on the side of the mattress. Um, so things were always coming unplugged. This bottom outlet was always running into the mattress. It just was kind of an awkward placement for an outlet. So now that we have this new 12 volt receptacle installed, we can just take the USB phone chargers In. And voila. It's uh yeah, it's perfect. It we no longer have to use these super awkward place awkwardly placed outlets. Um and now we actually have two USB um outlets and a cigarette lighter outlet. So um I'm I'm really happy with this. I think it's gonna be awesome.